In case you have not seen the past two videos in this series, I have shot various 22 long rifle rounds to test the devastation on bottles of water and the penetration on a slab of wood. But now, in this video, I shall make this redneck-like experiment more scientific by using a slab of wet paper so that we can see the mushrooming of all the rounds that I will shoot. This video in particular is on the power and not the accuracy at the moment. So remember to subscribe so that you can hopefully decide for yourself which round is best for your way of small game hunting and what round is great enough for even genial plinking. In this video I will also add another round to the mix that I haven't shot in my past videos and I'll also bring back a personal favourite round from episode 1. The new competitor is the E. Lee round nose which shoots at 1000 feet per second and the round that is returning is the Browning BPR 40 grain hollow point that travels at over 1400 feet per second. In case you did not watch episode 2 I explained that prior to making that video I had shot all the Browning BPR ammo off screen. The other competitors are the Winchester Subsonics which are 40 grains and shoot at 1065 feet per second. Second is the Aguila Super Extra High Velocity Hollow Points that shoot at about 1280 feet per second. And third is the notorious CCI Stinger which has a tiny wee 30 grain bullet and it shoots at over 1600 feet per second. First up, the round nose. Now, the Winchester Subsonic. Thirdly, the Aguila. Fourth, the Browning BPR. Finally, the CCI Stingers. So what do we learn from this extremely scientific test? Well, the round nose subsonic ammo just zipped right through the wet paper then bounced off the backboard and it had no mushrooming at all. Round nose rimfire ammo is an extremely poor choice for small game hunting because the bullet does not mushroom out compared to hollow points. When a bullet mushrooms it will create a significant wound cavity that ups the chance of killing the animal humanely. Round nose rimfire ammo is predominantly used for target shooting. I was however reasonably surprised with the mushrooming from the Winchester Subsonics. Both rounds deformed significantly more than I would have expected. The Winchester Subsonics have now proved to me that they would be humane for taking down small game animals. Both Aguila rounds I shot tumbled after impact and they were found facing the wrong direction within the wet paper. Both rounds did have minor damage but nothing significant. I was a bit disappointed in the Aguila rounds. My personal favourite rounds the Browning BPR deformed very well. Not only did they deform way more than that of the Aguila ammo, but due to the bullets being shot at 120 feet per second faster than the Aguila ammo, and while weighing the same amount of grains, the BPR penetrated deeper by at least 10 millimeters. Lastly is the legendary CCI Stingers. Now these wee bullets mushroomed the most out of all the other rounds. Again this came as to no surprise, but the only downside to these wee buggers is how little they penetrate into the paper compared to the Browning BPR ammo. So what have we learned from these extremely scientific tests over the last few months? Well for now the Browning BPR 22 LR ammo will continue to be my favourite 22 long rifle round for small game hunting. The CCI Stinger is also a great wee round due to its mushrooming and the devastation, even though it does not penetrate that deep into its target at extended distances. The Winchester subsonic rounds did just as well as I thought. 
I'll personally use the Winchester subs for small game within 50 metres due to their lack of penetration out at 75 metres. But with a well placed shot out at 75 metres or more, the Winchester subsonics would take down any small game. I am disappointed however in Aguila rounds though, but I am not surprised at all. I have had more misfires with this ammo than most other brands I have ever shot. The devastation on the water bottles, the mushrooming and the penetration was poor from these wee rounds. But on the bright side, the ammo is cheap so I will still use it for plinking. However all these answers come without one specific test and that is the accuracy test. In order to find a definitive answer all these rounds will have to battle it out to see which round is the most accurate. Thank you all for watching I am Ben and this is Ben Doing Things. Goodbye. <laughs>